Good morning. I've been asked, uh, as several in our church, basically, to give a series of devotions, basically, in these troubled times that we're living in right now, and to give maybe some comfort and some hope and some things to think about. And so we all have to agree that definitely these are worrisome times, these are stormy times, these are troubling times, you know, especially with the virus pandemic, uh, stressing our health care providers, uh, just as we've seen as far as the stock market is concerned and the potential job loss and just the local economy, the state of the economy, uh, with oil prices being down. I know we like oil prices down, but again, it affects us as far as the state is concerned. So uh, the question is, and in all of this worrisome stormy times that we have, is really during these times, will we walk in fear or we walk in faith? Of course, we all know the Bible has a lot to say about fear and about faith and about storms in life. And so we'll look at scripture uh, and a number of scriptures, perhaps, where we can kind of make some application of this. And that, that will be really what I concentrate on over the next two or three weeks to kind of maybe make some sense out of this. And so what we'll look at, and I like this scripture uh, found in Mark uh, Mark chapter 4, verses 35 through 41. Uh, this story is also important enough that it's in two of the other Gospels, in Matthew as well as in Luke. I like the golf, uh, the Mark reference for, I guess, a particular reason. So when I read this, you'll start understanding the setting that we have. So again, uh, starting with verse 35. On the same day, when evening had come, he said to them, let us cross over to the other side. Now when they had left the multitudes, they took him along in the boat as he was, and the other little boats were also with him. And a great windstorm arose, and the waves beat against the boat, so that it was already filling. But he was in the stern, asleep on a pillow. And they woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? So then he arose and he rebuked the wind, and he said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said to them, Why are you fearful? I like that. Why are you fearful? How is it that you have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said to one another, Who can this be that even the wind and the sea obey him? Who can this be? So again, a number of applications uh, that we can learn from this particular lesson, and again, as we look through the Bible. But the first application is the fact that storms in our life are certainly in inevitable. Um, we know that, I mean, uh, again, a lot of the principles, I mean, Jesus said in, in John 10.10, 10, I've you know, come that you might have life and have it abundantly. Well, right now, we don't feel like we're really having a lot of abundant life. But in that same context, in John 16, 33, he also said that in this world, you will have tribulation. In this world, you will have troubles. In this world, you will have storms, but be of good cheer. Be of good cheer because of the storms and tribulation. Yes, because I, Jesus, has overcome the world. And so understand that. I mean, storms are an inevitable part of life. And also we know, just as we see here with the disciples, I mean, storms come without warning at times. The storm comes, sometimes they also come in greater severity. And certainly, where were we two or three weeks ago? We were planning on spring break. We were planning on what we were going to do for Easter. And now look at where we are today. And so they come without warning, and they come in different severities. I know within our life, uh, we've never seen anything like this. And so certainly we can consider this one of those severe areas. But also, third point basically, is the fact that storms come for our testing and to reveal our spiritual maturity. You know, God's not gonna miss any, any storm necessarily in our life. So it has a purpose. It has a purpose for testing and it has a purpose for increasing our spiritual maturity. You know, James uh, chapter 1, verse 2 says, of all things, I mean, consider it all joy, my brothers, joy when you encounter various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith 
produces endurance or patience. So this has already been about five minutes. I'm getting the motion. So we'll stop at that point and we'll look at that. And so consider the fact, you know, we're in a stormy time of life. And so let's learn to make application of these stormy times. And let's definitely praise, pray, and trust. Until next week, thank you.